Hi, this is Michael William Denny of Thundershamanism.com and so today I want to talk to you about a very important concept concerning your divine human identity. So have you heard this before? There's people out there saying that Kundalini means serpent power therefore Kundalini is used by the reptilian agenda, the reptilian conspiracy to possess you not just on a mental level but on a spiritual level. That Kundalini is used by the reptilians to possess your soul and to damn you to hell. Okay? You've heard something like this before I'm sure. So I'm responding uh, to this because on my previous video uh, I was asking the question is David Icke a reptilian? And uh, somebody had commented and had asked well, kundalini means serpent power, so how can you use kundalini to uh, awaken yourself? And so that was an excellent question, and I responded to uh, that uh, under the comments. You can read that there, but I'll talk about it here too. That was an excellent question because um, this is a, a misunderstanding, not just in uh, these circles but in new age circles and in yogic circles and meditation I mean, you can go to just about any meditation class or you know yoga class and they'll say that kundalini means serpent power or they'll say kundalini is the serpent power well that's not accurate kundalini is a word from sanskrit sanskrit is a divinely empowered language this is why the yogis chant in sanskrit the vedas were written, they were transmitted by the celestial masters to uh, our ancient Indo-European ancestors to give them power to overcome the reptilian agenda. And in uh, Sanskrit the word kundalini does not mean serpent power. It translates literally to coiled or circular. And the reason for that is because the kundalini is in every human being, you know, you're born with it, you can call it a nerve, you can call it an energy, it doesn't matter, but it's part of your physical body connected to your human personality. And it's wrapped up around the base of the spinal column in your root chakra. And this is a very deep subject, we could go into it, but briefly, when you take action that aligns you with your highest divine human identity, which means acting with faith, acting with fearlessness, acting uh, with trust in the universe, uh, acting with compassion, with an open mind, with, with curiosity. Uh, anything that empowers your human, divine, uh, evolutionary development, this stimulates kundalini. Now, other things can stimulate kundalini as well, such as prayer, ritual, chanting, mantra, anything like that. Those are all designed to do the same thing. They're designed to vibrate you on a higher level so that you will operate from your divine human identity. Listen, you have a choice in this life. You can choose to be a dumb, stupid animal and operate from your reptilian brainstem and be controlled by the reptilians, or you can choose to be a divine human being, which human means uh, the divine mind on earth. And we've talked about that before. So that's your choice. So, let me just clear that up. Kundalini is in no way connected to the reptilians. In fact, quite the opposite. By uh, empowering Kundalini, it starts to uncoil and it starts to move up the spinal column. As it does, it connects with the chakras. For instance, like it will rise up and hit the heart chakra. When it does that, then you go through lessons connected to the heart chakra and that opens you up to the dimension connected to the heart. It's a very deep subject. I'll get into it in another video. But that's what Kundalini does. It rises all the way up to the top and when it does that it opens up the third eye and the crown chakra and it gives you power over the brainstem, the reptilian brainstem, which means that you have achieved mastery. You have defeated the reptilians and the reptilians can't touch you. So let's go over again. What is the reptilian uh, conspiracy agenda? It's a fourfold agenda. The, the first part of the agenda is to prevent you from awakening to your divine human identity, which is exactly what we're talking about. The second part of it is to uh, take energy away from your aura. 
Your aura is your first and last defense against all negativity, whether it be spiritual, mental, physical, biological, uh, uh, microbial, whatever it is, your aura is your first and last defense. And the reptilians suck power from your aura. So the second uh, part is to take away your ability to defend yourself. The third part of their agenda is to keep you trapped in the brainstem, the reptilian brainstem, the amygdala, the fight or flight. It means you operate only from fear and anger and from confusion. So if you're feeling frightened, confused, angry, guess where you're living? You're living in your reptilian brainstem. And there's a lot of people out there who are talking about reptilians all day long and guess where they're operating from? The reptilian brainstem. So I'm giving you the power to overcome them and overcome your own reptilian uh, tendencies. Whether you want to call it your sinful nature, whether you want to call it the natural man, well, however you want to look at it, I am giving you the step-by-step -step, uh, practices and techniques that are guaranteed to work to give you the ability to become divinely awakened. The fourth part of the reptilian agenda is to keep you from doing just that. When you, when you have awakened your divine human identity, when your aura has been empowered and you can protect that identity, when you have moved out of your reptilian brainstem, the amygdala, the fight or flight, you, when you're not living in fear, hatred, or judgment anymore, and when the kundalini has risen through all the chakras and opened up the third eye and the crown chakra, you become completely awakened, divinely uh, in, enlightened, and nothing can touch you because you are one with the source. Call it the universe, call it God, call it Odin, call it whatever you want. When you achieve that, you are untouchable. But listen, here's the bottom line. If you click on this link below, it'll take you to a streaming video that will teach you exactly what you need to do to accomplish the first step. So if the uh, reptilians have four-step agenda to keep you trapped and unenlightened, you flip that around, there is a four-step process to becoming enlightened. And I can guarantee you, if you follow what I'm teaching to the letter, you will change. You will begin the path of enlightenment. I wish I could guarantee you that you will become enlightened, but I can't make you do the work. My job is to get the information out there. So, uh, that's it for this video. Listen, I, I'm going to be uh, devoting a lot more time just to uh, putting out videos and teaching through videos. I need your help. What I need you to do is I need you to subscribe. I need you to like. I need you to comment. Um, you can, if you want to, you can go down and you can support this channel. Uh, there's a button uh, down there which will let you do that. Of course, all of my books and DVDs and videos are available to you. Um, you can work with me one-on-one -on -one if you want one-on-one. -on -one, uh, um, by the way, I'm starting to get more and more people wanting to become my apprentice, so I'm running out of space and time. So if you want to become an apprentice, which is work with me for one hour a week, you better hurry up because I'm running out of space. So those are the ways that you can support me. When I, you know, if you, People ask me, how come you don't do more videos? So if you want me to spend more time doing this, I need you to subscribe, like, uh, and whatever else you're willing to do to support this channel. That will keep me doing this. My, my goal is to put up videos every single day and to teach you on all levels of, uh, of spiritual enlightenment. So with that, um, uh, stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to talk about the chakras and what the chakras really are.